In this simple but powerful method, we're going to turn your garden soil into a rich environment where good microbes thrive, setting up your plants for the best possible growth. These tiny life forms are what make the soil truly alive, helping to break down nutrients and keep plants healthy. By following these steps, you'll create the perfect conditions for these little helpers and make your garden soil a long-lasting home for them. First, if your soil feels hard and compact, take a shovel and loosen it up. This is important because compacted soil doesn't allow water, air, or plant roots to move freely. By breaking it up, you're making space for everything to flow and for roots to grow deeper, which helps your plants take in more nutrients. Next, we add some bone meal. Sprinkle it evenly across the soil. Bone meal is like a vitamin boost for plants because it's rich in phosphorus and calcium. Phosphorus is essential for strong root growth, while calcium helps keep the plant's cells strong, which makes them more resistant to diseases. Adding bone meal gives your plants the nutrients they need to start growing strong. Then we'll sprinkle neem cake powder over the soil. Neem cake not only adds more organic material, but also acts as a natural pest repellent. It keeps harmful pests in the soil away from your plants, especially those that can damage roots. Plus, it releases nutrients slowly over time, giving the soil a steady supply of what it needs. Now comes the exciting part, charcoal. Charcoal is unique because it's full of tiny holes and spaces. Think of it like a sponge, but for microbes. These small spaces give good microbes a place to live, which helps them break down organic material and make nutrients available for the plants. But first, the charcoal needs to be crushed into very fine pieces, as smaller pieces mix better with the soil. Once the charcoal is ready, sprinkle it over the other amendments. At this point, the charcoal is still not active. It needs something to bring it to life. To do that, we're going to cover it with a layer of compost or manure. We're using partially decomposed manure here, but fully decomposed manure would be even better if you have some. This layer will help activate the charcoal, turning it into a place where microbes can thrive. Next, use your shovel to mix everything together well and level the soil. Mixing ensures that all these ingredients are evenly spread out creating a soil that's rich in nutrients and has a balanced structure. To activate the charcoal and help the manure finish breaking down, give the soil a good watering. You want to keep the soil moist, but not soaking wet for at least seven days before you plant anything. During this time, the charcoal will start holding onto moisture and nutrients, and it will become a home for beneficial microbes. The manure will also continue to decompose, adding even more nutrients to the soil. After a week, your soil will be teeming with life. These microbes will continue to enrich the soil, making nutrients available to plants and helping to hold moisture in the ground for years to come. It's a simple way to create a soil environment that practically takes care of itself. If you enjoyed this guide, please like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks.